What's up guys, it's Zach McCurley back with another Basics of Strongman video. So today we are gonna be talking about your first Strongman contest, how you get signed up, how you get started, and how you find the contest that kind of works for you. Um, let's get straight into it. So a couple common thoughts that come up, am I ready for a contest? Will I get hurt? And sometimes people just think I just, I can't even, right? So are you ready? Odds are, if you've been lifting for a year or two, you're probably ready. I, I encourage people to just go for it. I, I encourage people to jump in and check it out and at the very least become part of a training group uh, that will help to facilitate your ability to compete, right? Will I get hurt? Possibly. This sport does have injuries. Uh, it's a sad reality of every sport but strongman does have injuries and most of the time people do not get hurt. I feel that my experience would say the majority of injuries come from high level athletes, uh, people that are putting a lot of stress on their body, not people that just learned how to do a movement. So that's my answer to will I get hurt and then I just can't even. If you can't even, then don't, okay, it's fine. Um, a lot of people live their life without strongman and it's perfectly fine and they're perfectly happy and I'm not here to convince you to do it either way but I do want to give you the resources to pursue competition if that's something you're interested in. So, moving on, it was the great 20th century philosopher Cale Beck that said strongman is for everyone and when he said that, I really, that did kind of, I it kind of blew my mind because I was like, you know, yeah, yeah, it is. Like it is the perfect functional sport, right? It is the supremely functional sport. Uh, there's no sport that is more functional than strongman, in my opinion, from a training standpoint, from a methodology, from a, hey, there's a rock over there who can pick it up, right? It doesn't get any more basic than that. Hey, there's a wheelbarrow over there who can move it faster. Hey, there's a, like, there's a log over there who can who can carry it fastest like it's just it goes on and on it's the supreme measure and training discipline of functionality in my opinion and so I think that it does need to be said that there are different age classes different weight classes and even different experience classes so there are novice groups that you can or novice categories that you can compete in. And once you've won a novice class, you can no longer compete as a novice. And this, these classes are typically lighter. They're given more leniency with rules. They are, uh, they're a place where people can kind of see if they enjoy the sport. And I believe that the community fosters uh, a healthy environment and a fun environment for those individuals looking to explore the option of competing in strongman. So I really do suggest just going for it. Okay, that's my advice, just go for it. And the way that you can check that out is two separate ways. There's two current categories um, or two federations. The first one is North American Strongman or Strongman Corporation. The second one is United States Strongman or USS. And the first one, the way that you're gonna get there is you're gonna go to whatever browser you prefer, probably Google Chrome, right? And it's gonna be www.strongmancorporation.com slash events. Very straightforward, you're gonna go there. It's gonna be a big list of contests and you can peruse them, look at locations, look at dates, look at events, see what works for you, see if they have a novice class, a master's class, see if they have uh, like a weight class that works for you and sign up for the event. Or even before you sign up for the event, contact the promoter. All of these entry forms have contact information and I highly suggest reaching out to the promoter to ask them as many questions as you want because odds are they're gonna get back to you just as quickly as they can because everybody that's involved with this sport enjoys the sport, that's why they're involved, okay? Nobody's making a ton of money putting on these contests. It's just that people want to give opportunity to other athletes to compete and so they put on these contests. And then, so that I, you know, it should be said that I have a favorite. Um, I competed in North American Strongman when Strongman Corporation was just North American Strongman. I was also a professional strongman in American Strongman Corporation, which is currently Strongman Corporation. And all of my competitive career in America, not counting the like contests I've done overseas, um, were performed in that federation 
Uh, well, actually, with the exception of a couple that were unsanctioned. And, uh, you know, so I, I, I just feel like I have to disclose that I do have a favorite, and that's, that's my preferred federation. But the other federation, which I have many friends who are state chairs and in this federation as well, and, uh, you know, I think that the promoters are, you know, I think two federations means a lot of opportunity for people to explore different avenues of competition, and I think overall it's a good thing. And so the way that you'll get to the second one is www.unitedstatesstrongman.com slash upcoming hyphen con, or sorry, hyphen events. So that's www.unitedstatesstrongman.com slash upcoming hyphen events. So you go there and there'll be a list of locations, dates, contests, entry forms, all that stuff. And with all that being said, I feel that I've already kind of said my story time about uh, American Strongman Corporation and Strongman Corporation. And next time I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about diet, just the very basics. So next time we're gonna talk about diet. And if you guys enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, all that crap. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment box or message me, ask me questions. You guys are giving me ideas on what to speak on in this series and what people need uh, kind of an introduction to, an overview of, in a very simplified way. So that's, that's the purpose of this is to really, this series goal is to very simply address basic questions, right? So, uh, and if you guys want a deeper dive, you can go to the Strongman Theory series, which is a different series that I'm putting on. And that will dive into a lot of competitive theory and things of that nature. Uh, point splits, training splits, um, different training methodology structures, both weekly and like macroscopic structures over weeks or months and all kinds of things. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.